So this is Mirror Mirror. We're going to play a couple different things throughout here. Mirror Mirror has these cards like Agent of Treachery here that are banned and historic, but have this little arena symbol in front of them because they've been retooled and power level balanced for, for the format on just arena. So Agent of Treachery here was the top end of this blue devotion deck that made it feel, I'm not going to say reasonable, but not a total dumpster fire. That says now when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you get to get control of something. So we can't blink it anymore with this, but it's still just like a pretty good top end for our ramp deck. And obviously we're starting with this deck to play a couple of games at least because it features Arcanus Owl. And I felt like I was obligated to play something that had some amount of owls in it for at least a little bit today. So when this enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your deck. You can grab an enchantment or artifact card from among them and put it into your hands. This helps us find the Nyx Lotus here which enters tapped and then makes mana equal to your devotion to blue. And this also makes four devotion to blue. And then we eventually make a bunch of blue mana and then cast blue sun zenith to draw a bunch of cards or make our opponent draw cards and deck them out. So I'm not expecting this deck to do particularly well, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and play with some owls for a couple of games to start here. This format is best of one only as it adds a heads up. They did fix Winota. We're going to play Winota. I've got Winota and Teamer Oko loaded up as other decks I want to play today. Teamer, uh, Winota now only looks at four cards. I mean, they took 33% of Winota's looks away. It's not that small. This event, by the way, is also all access. So you can play with cards that you don't currently own on Magic Arena. So even if you want to try out more stock historic decks, you can try them out without spending resources on them. Primal Amulet. Wonder if they are Nexus of Fading. The deck editor is a little bit awkward because you have to build the deck with a bunch of cards you don't technically have in your collection. But then once you pull up the mirror mirror tab, you can play them there. I would I would recommend building it somewhere not in the arena editor and then importing it. Thanks for, thanks for the base full metal. Do I think they could eventually have a format where they just modify things instead of bam them? I really hope that that's the case at some point because it would make the Magic Boomers very, very upset. And I would be very amused if the Magic Boomers were upset. Slips over at four counters. They might flip this before Ratchet Bomb gets it. We'll see. The turn early from Kiora might do it for us. I wonder what they're trying to double up here. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna flip this over here. So let's let them copy a spell. 
Humans was great. Deck is deck is very good. Imperial Recruiter felt like a solid upgrade. So they're just like looping Balagan recoveries. Mana off, Agent of Treachery taking their thing away. Oh, Kiora first tier, so we get four looks at the land for next turn, because Kiora can untap one of these. Nice, snail it. Honestly think the Putting the arena symbol on the card is such an elegant solution. Or making things uh, have different text on them. Holy shit, chat, we've been memed. So they get to double Star of Extinction us, and then the Balagan recovery keeps looping it. That's hilarious. We've been we've been out memed chat. That's true. From a from a pure profits perspective, never giving out wild cards because you never ban anything is definitely upside. Is memory lapse good against an opponent who's missing land drops? This is this is the other problem. So like the fact that this Q is best of one unranked and there's no there's no like yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. The commander worked out kind of cuz it was like a more silly fun format that we were playing for the most part, but like Playing historic in a best of one setting and no stakes at all for it. I feel like the quality of games we're going to get is not very high. Add a command real quick here for the next open. F Dragon, thanks for the 20 months. Welcome back. You played a bit of Winota and your opponents just kept conceding every time she hit the battlefield. I mean, to be fair, they're usually dead when she hits the battlefield. So for people that haven't kept up with arena announcements, the um, the on Thursday we'll be getting a standard 2020 best of one queue in the arena client, which you'll be able to play standard in in best of one without Eldraine or Ikoria or Theros or M21. 
in the open. The open is going to be that new format. You can play in clients as well. Jareths, thanks for the tier two. I appreciate the 20 months. Welcome back. So 25 months, Kira, quiet Kieran. Uh, do I want to memory lapse this? I kind of feel like I don't. I think I just let it happen and then we like draw Yorian. Nah, I'll just memory lapse it. Make a redraw everything. thing. This means, this means if they redraw it and kill this next turn, we'll get to brainstorm. We'll get to shuffle the brainstorm. Yes, the set release is Thursday, chat. Set release is Thursday, open is Sunday. Corridor monitor is actually pretty good here. We're gonna bottom fast, uh, bottom land. I guess put them on top. I assume we're gonna be shuffling them here in a second. back. Let's go ahead and draw this. I'm playing like four color, no green control. Yes, yeah, this, this is the fair brainstorm. Velocimus and Coma. Oh, they're a reanimator deck. Okay, I'm gonna put Coma in their hand. Oh, that's a that's a great hit. So let's do Owl. Then we'll take another Owl, and we'll tap this for seven. Then we'll play Owl. Edge. And then we'll cast this. Untap this. See, chat, the owl is good. Who are you to think you can beat the owls? The new, the new agent only steals when you cast it, so Yorian blinking it does not does not get to do anything. So what's the win con in this deck? So Blue Sun Zenith is the win con. You can also just like attack your opponent, but. The go, the go big fancy win con is Blue Sun Zenith. This targets a player, so you just like generate a bunch of mana with your Nick, with your Nick this. Your Nick Flotus. Oracle and Time Warp are banned in this format, yeah. May do a video with my specific thoughts on these historic cards. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just make a short video on the idea in general. Just so we can piss off a bunch of magic boomers. People are so upset at the idea their children's card game could be changing.
The Abyss archetype basically died off completely in best of three. Honestly, Magic 2021 has made me kind of wonder what year it is, because, like, complaining that there's too many brainstorms being registered in tournaments and in top eights makes me, makes me wonder what year it is. We actually really love to draw an owl here. Well, I guess we don't really have anything to do with the pile of mana. I guess uh, Cavalier is probably the best pickup. It draws us cards and generates devotion. All right, so Dragonstorm here is deterministically lethal. They'll give a Blade Wing in the bin, so they'll grab Terror of the Peaks, and then they'll grab a Blade Wing, and then Blade Wing bring brings Blade Wing back into play. And then it dies because it's legendary, and then Blade Wing, Blade Wing brings Blade Wing back into play. So they get to kill us here with this. And the opponent's archetype is basically unplayable in best of three, but it sees fringe play in best of one because there's no sideboards to make it unplayable here. Because of Graveyard Hate, Encounter Spells, and stuff like that, de de decks tend to become more interactive post-board in Magic the Gathering. So decks like that that are bad against interaction tend to get worse in post-board games, both because of the Graveyard access and, be access and because of just how Magic sideboards tend to function in general. I'm going to do this now at Sorcery Speed in case we find a tap land. Yikes, looking for a land or a 7-drop. Feels Magic the Gathering, man. I would also like to say it's kind of funny, and by funny I mean sad and depressing and poorly planned out, so peak Wizards of the Coast, that one of the cards they modified for this event was Veil vale of Summer, and they modified Veil vale of Summer for this best of one event. Good. It's a good way to test if your rebalance works out, huh? Let's let's change the sideboard card for the best of one event. See how it goes. Might be fine. Hey, right, Cavalier fires. This card's still very powerful. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yes, Spires is identical. Actually, honestly, maybe I should make a video talking about my thoughts in this format because, like, my TLDR is, I think, for a temporary format like this was. The changes they made to a lot of these cards were incredibly lazy and uninventive. Like, the fact that they were just like plus one mana cost on most things is like the most uninteresting thing they could have done. I wish I wish they would have tried to push the needle more. And now they can't cast spells on my turn. Because uh, they have Fires of Invention, and Fires of Invention has a real drawback. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of their things, and then they're going to concede. This Agent of Treachery still pretty good, chat, turns out. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
We keep this. It needs some land, but if we find them, this can hopefully find us a uh, Nyx Lotus. I mean, agenting your opponent until they concede is a win condition, but yeah, technically, technically, you could make a bunch of mana emblems on them as well. And for a third land tier. Has the event done so far? Best of one historic's a little meh. There's also a lot of people that just like aren't playing any new cards because it's an all access event. Do you still have the owl costume busy hands? Never, never throw away a good tax deduction. Right into battle. All right, we have Nyx into Owl here. Oh right, Uro doesn't ramp you anymore, it just gains three and draws a card. I think I lead, I lead on the next Lotus. And then next turn we can use it twice with the Kiora. Oh, they're an Omnath deck, right? Sure. This doesn't draw anymore, it just scries now. Still pretty good. Who's playing nerfed card tribal? I mean, it's the best way to do it, huh? I mean, I missed a land drop this game, and it still doesn't feel like we're that far behind, right? They've mostly they've mostly just been tire spinning here. They, like, took a lot of game actions, but they didn't do a ton with them. Okay, sick. This lets us clear the brainstorm. It's field of the dead in the dock, and for today, it is not. So I want to stack these so we draw and then we brainstorm 
Arcanist Dowl past the Brainstorm. Brainstorm Arcanist Dowl past the Brainstorm. <laughs> we are we are definitely circus of valuing here. Oh, I forgot to blink the Kiora. Good call. The discard five cards. That's so unlucky. Oh wait, if I blink the Kiora, does she trigger on these, or would I miss those draws? I actually, don't know offhand. Do we win next turn? Yeah, definitely. My opponent only has 28 cards in their deck. If my opponent draws too many cards, we could kill them with Blue Sun. This is currently makes someone draw 16. Zero Sin, thanks for the 28 months. Welcome back. Like, they all cut and escape your friends coming at the same time. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <sighs> We should put blue ley lines in this deck. So when we untap at end of turn, we could do more at the end of turn. Yeah, that would totally be great. It is it is free devotion as well. Oh my gosh! We could put Mind's Desire in this deck, chat. I totes forgot Mind's Desire is legal in this format now. I just went back to look at one of our old deck lists. All right, let's put some, let's put some Mind's Desires in here and some uh, Blue Ley Lines. That sounds, that sounds lovely. Correct. This is only cast from hand. All right, chat. This is this is a draw five. If they get down to fifteen cards in deck, they get down to fifteen cards in deck. Blue Sun Zenith ends them. Twenty two. They gotta draw. I believe in you, opponent. Draw seven more Magic the Gathering cards. I'm talking about lethal this turn, chat. So obviously I have lethal next turn. I'm talking about killing them before we, before they untap for people that aren't following along. This is an instant. So le next turn is easy lethal. I'm, I'm talking about killing them this turn. They seem to like cast it up their fourth escape to the wilds, then we get them. Oh, we did lose the devotion. Okay, they need to get down to 14 cards now. Need seven more still. Big Sedge. The fact that I forgot to blink Kiora coming back to bite us. Yeah, I have, I have 18 total cards, but you have to make them draw one more than they have cards in their deck. So if I want them to die to Blue Sun Zenith, I need them to have 14 cards, chat. 20.
All right, I don't know that shoving Mind's Desire in this deck necessarily makes it better, but it's gonna make it approximately 10 times sweeter. Playing less lands because of the hand smoother. Nah. I want to. I want this deck's pretty mana hunger. I want to hit my land drops. moment when you've opened all I had to craft a blue sun zenith as well honestly with the mind's desires you might not even need two of them also remember this event is all access so if you want to play this deck you don't need to craft the stuff in it yet just load it load it up in your deck editor and you're good to go don't don't spend wild cards on this Honestly, with Mind's Desire, the Agent of Treachery plan might not even be good in this deck, and we could probably try this at Normal Historic at some point, just for the memes. Gandalf, thanks for the year and a half. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So, missing on this feels a little bit bad, but it also reminds me that uh, it also brings us closer to an X Lotus down the line. to do here this is four looks this is three but getting this into play next turn gives us a chance to have a land alongside it so if i find nyx lotus plus land we can go we probably need to pop off next turn right so i think i think i cavalier because i really want land plus lotus here I think we're probably dead at this point. Ectoban, thank you for the, the two thirds of the year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. And Dino Muxus this turn. So you don't have to play chat. Most people in this event aren't playing cards that were modified. They're just get to play all access best of one historic for a few days. Most of the decks with the modified cards seem worse than regular historic decks so far for reference. Thanks for the tier two JMK. Thanks for the 39 months. Welcome, welcome back. I'm anticipating a good game, chat. Sweet memes are made of these. Who am I to disagree? And by that, I mean we're probably just going to get run over before we can do anything.
this is. For reference, this is what I was expecting to have happen when we played this deck. And we happened to queue into a couple of people that were playing bad cards that had been modified. So like, playing against other people playing slow bad decks, our deck gets to do its thing, but our deck, our deck is not very good. I'm gonna try one more time to see if we can pop off with Mind's Desire ones, but then we're gonna shift gears to something else. I have Teamer Oko and Nayo Winota built. The deck that, that was picked because it matches your costume is a good big mood. Teamer. Teamer Oko is probably too slow and fair for this format, too, though. I'm expecting Winota to be reasonable, but like Teamer Oko probably dies to those same travel decks we just died to. Hey, look, a Mopey Ramp deck. Maybe we got a shot here. But they're just like playing Fires of Invention or Omnath. Those cards are slow and bad. So our slow bad deck can keep up. Hey, thanks, Probs. Right. Well, that's not the Nyx Lotus we wanted for Christmas, but gives us four more looks at one, huh? Let Oko make fractals bigger. No, he wipes the text off of them. Oh, no, they have counters. Sure, he does, but that's still like, that's still incredibly slow and fair compared to good decks in Historic. Like, again, like, when you're thinking about like what these cards do chat, you need to think about how they line up could be compared to like the decks that are currently good in Historic. Historic is not this slow mopey format. It's like pretty fast and brutal. Or I just cast this now while they're tapped out in case they have counter spells. Take a bunch of looks at uh, Nick's Lotus here. Yeah, I was surprised they took Oko's second skill all the way down to minus two, especially when they got made the plus two a, mi a plus one. I agree that he, he he would likely be fine at plus one minus one. They didn't nerf Tefri Time Raveler. They made him different. They added a loyalty to him and they added a mana cost. Defree's Defree's change is one that I was very, very unhappy with. Do I do this digging for a land tier? I think we do. I really want to be able to like Nyx Lotus and Corridor Monitor in the same turn. Nice, okay. So now we can hold up memory lapse in case they're gonna do something crazy. And then if they don't, we can next load us at instant speed. Uh, fires literally just cost more mana. These, these fires decks have seemed slow and bad compared to everything else going on in Historic. Just people reliving their glory days. Well, shoot. This is nineteen, right? I'll go to one. One is one is not none, shit. I 
I don't have anything to do though, right? We don't have a blue sun. We don't have a mind's desire. Sedge. I guess we agent of treachery. Now this takes red mana to activate. Oh, you're saying I could untap this and give everything haste? Is that lethal? I think you're right. I think that is actually lethal, right? Yeah, because I have uh, I have three blue mana left over. That's hilarious. Okay, now that's now that's funny. <laughs> the competitive the competitive Twitch chat advantage there. Cause we steal it and then we filter into red. Get clapped. I just like mulliganing looking for owls or lotus fields. Next Lotus is. Thanks for the entire year, Frost Guardian. Welcome back. I appreciate you keeping me around. Oh man, are we about to play against our first Doko? Alright, so we'll do that. And then... We'll have land, we'll have end step Nyx Lotus, untap Owl, make some mana. See what else we get. Board the weather light. Okay. Oh, there are a field of the dead deck. Interesting. This is legendary and makes tapped zombies now. Oh, this technically finds Field of the Dead. That's funny. That's good deck building right there. It's kind of gas is a historic card now. Our promise finds it too. So we'll cast Owl, and then this is tapping for six next turn, so we technically have seven left over. Looking for a corridor monitor plus some other gas. Oh no, we don't have mana to cast the Mind's Desire chat, Sedge. Yes, multiple fields of the dead still work with scape shift, even though they're legendary. So we'll get still get a bunch of zombies, boys and girls. Nice, nice.
So 13, 14. That's actually exactly enough to do this, do this, and then do this, right? Great, hit me, dealer. It was it did that did not contain my mind's desires, chat. Really need the Kiora untap at this point. If we put that back and impulse past it. Yeah, that's an adds devotion, so it was, it was free. Might as well put it into play. Oh, they got a land they already had. That must have been a misclick, right? Uh, so far, I've been having fun playing with and against the nerf cards, but all of the nerf cards also don't seem good enough to keep up with the good, good things in Historic. Like, they seem markedly worse than, like, normal Historic decks. Alright, so we need something live to happen with these Cavalier draws next turn, or we're dead. You know, uh, way to draw, draw more cards, get some velocity going. So we're going to escape shift a bunch of tokens here. What I assume is going to be a lethal amount. I assume they're going to get like two fields plus a bunch of lands. Which will get them, um, you know, 30 some odd power worth of zombies. We have uh, 26 mana next turn though. Wonder why they didn't float some mana, because they don't have anything else they want to do. Wait, do they only have one Field of the Dead? I mean, I know it's legendary, but... Weird. I'm pretty sure, especially if you're playing Scape Shift, you should still have a bunch of Field of the Deads in your deck. I will say playing this event today has made me really happy that the standard 2022 event is going to have a ranked option to play it. Um, because the quality of the games that we've been playing today, there's been a lot of concessions and sloppy play. And, and there, it's not to say that like ladder play removes all mistakes that people make, but people tend to at least be a little bit more careful if there's a number or a metric or something on the line. I think with the fifth land drawn, I'm going to cycle this lonely sandbar. It's for the two thirds of a year, Brian. Welcome back. As modern this morning, humans was great. Imperial recruiter really got to flex at multiple points. Uh, we also played, um, 
What was the other card we played? Uh, we played uh, blah, 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 Esper Sentinel. It was great. So the Hooklandia Open is one week from today as a heads up if you plan to play in or watch that. It will be July 11th. Maybe I should have played a quarter monitor out as a blocker since I planned to Kiora. Kiora could just die now. They only put her to one, we can at least still cast Cavalier next turn, but the fact that we were on the draw this game, probably gonna be the reason that we lose. Which is again, one of the reasons why I really don't enjoy best of one, because there's less chances to break serve. Okay, well, we're gonna get to Cavalier next turn at least. We don't get to draw a card from Kiora because she's dead, but we at least get to cast her thing. What are we putting back here? I have to redraw one of these next turn. And then honestly, we probably put the corridor monitor back so that way we can... I just put the Omen of the Sea back. So that way we have a guaranteed hit lined up for the Owl next turn. Being on the play is busted shit. Definitely, definitely a high roll draw for the opponent there. Lotus Cobra into Omnath on the play, into this, into these. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change gears. This deck, this deck was cute. I don't think it's very good. This deck's pretty close to playable in normal historic. You just like cut the agents and like be more of a Minds Desire deck. I don't think it's good enough there. We played some amusing games though, so I don't count an account a total loss. And we got to play an owl deck in the owl costume days, so you know. Let's go ahead, uh, let's go ahead and play some other things. Hmm? 